I'm Saituna Kiamovna Hazanova from the settlement Premiera. Premiera for us is now a zone of immortality. I am telling you, doctors, so and so, Akadi Petrov has helped me with his books. Start reading the book, just buy it. You can even simply put your hand on it and even then it can heal you. With me, I had my gallbladder operated on. It has been more than a year since I started reading the books of Akadi Petrov. Three books I have read so far. After four months, I started to notice it. As if I saw my liver and there was my gallbladder, I see it all in light green. And I'm so happy because I feel no more pain and all is fine with me because in former times I was in the hospital very often. Now my husband also deals with this method. His leg hurts him and he tells me, heal me. Well, I tell him, wait until I have learned it perfectly myself. The more we work through and develop the elements of this system, the more effective it starts to be. Whereas it begins to function globally, and for example I, myself, have literally set in motion the last regenerations in Nizhny Novgorod. They were pretty unusual from the point of view that the work was carried out with a full auditorium of more than 30 people. Imagine that such an audience is sitting there and the process of regeneration is started simultaneously among them and some of them already obtained results during the course within an hour, while we were talking about the subject. I explained how this generation takes place, I tried to explain some aspects of certain mental processes, and, for example, a woman who, in fact, had three fingers paralyzed, the index, middle and ring finger of her right hand, they immediately allowed stretchability and movement in this moment, although she had not been able to use these fingers for several years before. Even more, at that time our work was accompanied by the observations of a medical commission. The commission was guided by a professor from the Academy of Medical Sciences and three doctors who have compiled and signed protocols during each of our actions. Also, the final regeneration of the leg of a businessman from Nizhny Novgorod, Alexei Kurashev, was performed, with whom we had been working for quite some time. He had a trophic ulcer on his leg the size of a fist. There was also gangrene due to which the doctors wanted to amputate his leg. He did, however, consciously refuse that. He said, I would rather die than have my leg amputated. And basically, we began working with him last year, and we have achieved a lot. And even better, this time everything was accompanied by medical devices. With him, a particular documentation has been made and, by the way, a film will soon be published. TV recorded all this and his leg will also be shown in this film, which should be ready in June. Actually, it already is finished. You will see this section. Literally, after one day, the trophic ulcer has practically contracted to a minimum. There were no seams and no scars, very much to the surprise of the attending professor, Professor Sirovsky from Moscow, a very famous scientist and head of the Department of Rheumatology of the Bordenko Neurosurgical Institute who conducted the investigation. Basically, he's one of the strongest in this area, who has already reanimated human brain about 30 years ago. He has been famous in Nizhny Novgorod already, and the doctors who took part in our session had already known him from his name. They knew who he was. When you see the film, you will see his confusion. He fell in a degree of frustration from time to time, leading his fingers to his lips saying, I do not know what to call this energy, I do not know how this happened, what happened here is not possible.
But it has happened. Practically, the ulcer completely contracted and new, fresh skin appeared. That is, where there was a blackness, a dark blue, where there was sanies or pus before, all of that was gone. There was a young skin, and what surprised him the most, he said, there should be scars there at least, because there weren't even any scars from the process. And we can tell of many similar things, even to curiosity. For example, here, this woman, and maybe I turn to you for assistance, because this is a very amusing case. This was not planned by us at all, and also did not happen as a result of certain treatment from our side. The woman had simply read the book, the trilogy, in which also the growth of teeth is described. And she thought, if only I could grow up teeth like this. After a certain time, after she had thought this, she had a golden bridge there, the golden bridge fell off. The bridge fell off and she tried to contact her friend, a dentist, but could not find her for a while. So she could not really find out the period of time in which these teeth grew loose. And when she finally found her friend, she could only tell her, my bridge has fallen off. The friend said, that's no problem, come by and we fix it. But she said, not necessary, I have already grown new teeth. By now, the doctor was a very big surprise. Here she is. Maybe you want to talk about your case yourself. And the most interesting, yesterday, when we took the recordings of the regeneration, we had many scenes of this ulcer and how everything was healed about the regeneration of reproductive organs and so. There was a lot of material, but there was nothing about teeth. And as we stood in the street and talked about if there was anything about teeth, Suddenly, this woman appears and reports on the regeneration of her teeth. Tell me, please, is there a reason that you could not find the dentist? Is it a coincidence that he just appeared during the recording? Just when we talked about the chance of someone with a teeth experience, so we could have even demonstrated a perfect process on the regeneration of teeth? Please, tell us yourself how all this happened. I am Galina Nezhuritova. I live in the city of Kogan. I testify that after reading the trilogy Creation of the World by Akadi Petrov, I experienced the regeneration of two roots of my upper teeth. I had a golden bridge and suddenly it started to wiggle and finally came off, which made me sad at first. And within a month, there was a swelling of the gums. I thought that it would only be an inflammatory process, but then I sensed with my tongue that sharp little teeth had appeared. Reading the book, there was a section where the author talks about the regeneration of teeth. And I thought it is possible that this could happen to me and how great that would be if I grew new teeth. And then I thought, how can it happen? I do have a tooth crown and suddenly that crown fell off. That seemed very unreal to me. I was so glad and showed my children. I opened my mouth, everyone was looking, and really, it's true, and everyone is happy for me, some even envious. I'm so grateful to the fact that such a possibility as is happening to me, that these technologies now exist. For me, these are the technologies of the future.